hello friends welcome back to my channel service now universe hope you all are doing well in this video we will explore build agent in service now what it is how it works and how you can use it to quickly build the apps without writing the complex code i'll walk you through a live demo showing step by step how to create an application using build agent in minutes by the end you will understand how this powerful ai feature can boost your productivity and simplify the app development in service now let's get started okay now what is build agent Build Agent is an AI-powered tool that helps developers in creating the applications and even updating the existing applications and even it helps in fixing the bugs in existing applications. Currently, it supports only scoped applications, so we cannot able to create the global applications or we cannot update the existing global applications. Okay, now the default model provider for this Build Agent is Entropic Cloud on AWS. I have already created a video where I have used Cloud to create the expense tracker in Service Portal. Today also we'll create an expense tracker application using build agent in the backend cloud is used. So let's see the difference. So to install the build agent plugin, we need to go to plugins and search for build agent. And this is already installed in my instance. So it is in the install section and uh, we have build agent trial app uh, available in the PDI and we get uh, 10 prompts per month in the build agent trial app. Okay. Now to Create the applications using build agent. We need to go to service now IDE. So I'll just type in service now IDE here. Okay. So I have to open the service now IDE. Okay. I need to create a new workspace. So I'll just create it. I'll just give it a name. I'll give it as service now universe. And we need to provide the description. So I'll give it as service now universe also universe okay so once i hit enter uh, the service no universe workspace is created okay so we are in service no universe workspace and now uh, we get the option to create an app or uh, and we have the chat here now i'll just put the prompt here okay so this is this is my prompt i want to create the custom expense tracker application in service now the app should allow users to record and manage their expenses categorize them and view their view the summaries and please create the required tables roles forms dashboards generate the basic ui and sample data to test okay so i'll just send okay now this is asking uh, the permission from our side so we need to approve this it is trying to create the expense tracker application so we'll just click on approve so it is trying to create application with some specific name so let's approve that also now we can see it has started creating the application here Okay, it took around 20 minutes and it has completed all creating all the components. Okay, and we can see the component structure here uh, in the left side. So if we go to source, then we can see uh, the components. Uh, these are the roles created. So if there are any problems, then it will show up here, but there are no problems. So let me just close this. So it has created these roles. Uh, so expense user, expense manager, expense admin. Okay, and it has created two tables expense category uh, here this is the expense category and this is expense a table okay now if i go to backend in the tables so i don't see those tables here okay because we need to still uh, deploy it so it is asking me uh, the question here at the end would you like me to continue the app need to be deployed to the uh, this instance okay so i'll just say yes Okay, now it started building the application. Okay, build is done. Now it is creating the basic ACLs. Okay, now the build is successful. Now we need to approve to deploy. So I'll just click on approve. Okay, now the application is successfully deployed. And now we can see the links here. So if I click on open expense tracker dashboard, that opens a UI page expense tracker. 
where we can see uh, the UI here. Okay, now we have this dashboard. Okay, where we can see the total expenses now from where this total expense is coming so if i go a little bit down here so it has created the expense records because i asked it to create the uh, sample record so it has created six records here so those six records it is showing here okay and there are five categories and from where those five categories are coming so there is category records so there is one more table expense categories so these are the five categories okay now if i go to the tables okay tables were empty so after deployment if you see it has created two tables in the service now here okay now uh, so to add the expense we can just go to add expense and we can simply add something here okay let me just check if i can add so we can change the currency also i'll just select the category uh, so if you want more categories then we'll add the categories to the categories table so we can add the merchant and some description here okay we can uh, add the status as well okay so let's just create the expense okay so there are total seven expenses now earlier there were six expenses now there are seven expenses okay now i added 100 here but still it is showing zero so that's a bug so let me just check it in the backend table so let me refresh this okay so the amount is added correctly in the backend but it is not fetching that properly on the front end okay so that's why in the dashboard we'll be able to see zero dollars okay now if you want then we can fix this error by chatting with the build agent here okay so this is how we can use build agent uh, approximately it took around half an hour to build this application please share in comments whether this build agent helped developers to improve their productivity or it will increase the complexity